This video is for any of you that weren't able to complete chords. No. For those of you that weren't able to work out chords with Scalar, I'm going to show you how to do it just with tools in Ableton. I already have a chord progression here. You can hear it. It has some rhythms to it, which is cool. But right now you can see they're only one note at a time playing. So how does this happen? It happens because I'm using chord to build my chord. I'm using scale to assign a scale. And I'm also using pitch to bring the pitch up. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and start from scratch. The first thing I need to do is make a new clip, find C3, drag it out for a measure. And now I want to make this a four measure long loop. So now I set it to four, command D to duplicate, and I'm going to bring this up to F to G and back down to C. Why these notes? This is a very simple chord progression that works for lots of music, so this is what we're going to use. The next thing is we need to go to MIDI effects, and we need to go to chord. First we want to establish our chord, and then we need to establish our scale, and then we need to add pitch. Let's work from left to right. With chord, we're going to add a first shift up three semitones the next one up 6, and the next one up 10. This is going to give it a jazzy feel. If you don't want it to sound jazzy, then you could bring it up to 12. The next thing to do is on scale, we want to click this refresh or resample or swap button right here. and We want to locate C minor. Press enter. Click this button or press Q to exit. And now we need to bring the pitch of our chords way, way up. Because the original sample is so low, we need to bring this up two octaves, so 24 steps. Now when I press play, even though we have one note playing, we can clearly hear that we have multiple notes playing at the same time. We can see all the notes right here playing together. Now, if this doesn't sound right, mainly because I can't hear what's going on right now because of my output settings, feel free to mess with the shift to go up to seven. You can even go down to five. You can't duplicate any notes, but go ahead and get creative. I believe seven's probably actually, yeah, this one's the right one, not six. Sorry about that. So three, seven, and 10 adds it for a jazzy feel. If you want to make it sound even jazzier, then you can add this up to 14. This will sound really jazzy. But if you don't like that, then just turn it off. After you've built your chord progression, now it's time to create some sort of rhythm with it. I'll use the drawing tool in Ableton just because it's simple. And I'm going to change in my fixed grid into eighth notes. I could also press Command 2 to go wider or command one to go oh, faster or skinnier. So now I'm gonna do some sort of rhythm here. I'm gonna cut it. There we go. And I'm gonna follow the same rhythm. There we go. So now I have the same rhythm happening over and over with new chords. When you start exploring rhythms, it's important to listen to everything, particularly the drums that you've created. This may not groove with my drums. I can't really hear it, like I said. So feel free to turn off the drawing tool by pressing B or clicking up here, and then shifting notes around. Don't forget that we have specific places for strong and weak beats. Strong, weak, strong, weak. So chords typically are happiest or sound the best 
when we focus on the strong beats. So maybe to you, it might sound better to have the chords playing and focusing on the strong beats instead of the weak beats. That's going to be your decision. But this is how you build out your chords with Ableton.